Hey guys, welcome to day two of my 10 days of fall. Today's tutorial is on this Stay Cozy Leopard Print tumbler right here. On this cup, I used a glitter from my new Desert collection. If you have not checked that out, I will leave a link down below. This is the shade Dune. I'm actually doing a glitter giveaway in this video. I'm going to give five of you a glitter of your choice from my Desert collection. So in order to enter this giveaway, you just need to subscribe to my YouTube channel, ring the notification bell, comment on this video, and also join my Facebook group. It's just Glazed Epoxy. I will have all that down below for you and links as well. So yes, I'm gonna give away five full-size glitters from my desert collection. So yeah, if you wanna see how I did this tumbler here, let's get into the tutorial. All right, taking this stainless cup that I got from Ross, it was only $10.99, took all the stickers off and prepped it. Then using the Oregano by Rust-Oleum color, I cannot get over this color. Like this cup, just, just plain green, I would be obsessed with. This color is stunning, I love it. So just painting it this green. Then once that was dry, I mixed up my Artistry Art and Tumblr epoxy and just doing a whole coat of that, making sure to get it all even, coated everywhere really nicely. Once that was cured, taking my black vinyl, I just did a really cute little stay cozy. I figured that would be a really cute like fall kind of saying without being too, too fall. So then this cup can just be used all year round, but it just gives a little nod to the fall cozy up by the fireplace in a blanket kind of vibe. So just placing that on my cup at the kind of top part. And I, I like to lift up the cup and set it on a table and kind of look at it from there. It fit, I feel like it really helps make sure that it's level. I don't know what it is about it laying down. Sometimes it looks level, but it's not. So I pick it up and I set it on the table, give it a good look, and then decide if it's where it needs to be. So then taking my trusty Mod Podge, we're gonna do some glitter um, leopard spots and we're just doing the inside part of the spot right now. Using my glitter Dune from my Desert Collection that is out now, I will leave links down below. I'm doing these leopard spots, I'm trying to spread them out a little bit more and do them a little bigger than I normally do, like the, the whole spot, so I'm trying to I'm trying to like leave enough room for the black when I'm doing this. So just doing some Mod Podge, making sure to do enough. I feel like if you do, if you don't get enough on there, not a lot of the glitter sticks. So you feel like you're gonna be putting too much on, but that's perfect. 
then sprinkling the glitter. And with the Mod Podge, you're only gonna do, you know, five to seven spots at a time, glitter them, and then move on, or else your Mod Podge will start drying and then your glitter will not stick. So keep that in mind, just work in smaller sections. So now we're just covering the entire cup with these spots, including the bottom. So once that is completely dry, you do not want to do this until the Mod Podge is 100% dry. You're going to take a stiffer brush and just really wipe off the excess glitter. Sometimes it sticks more than others to the rest of the epoxy. I think it has to do with how long the epoxy has been cured. But if it's sticking, just keep working at it or you can even use masking tape to get off the excess glitter. But like I said, make sure the Mod Podge is dry. I like to wait at least 10 hours to ensure that it is dry. Then you're going to take a clear spray paint and seal it. That's why it kind of looks matte. Then do another layer of epoxy. But you're gonna wanna seal your glitter so that when you're putting on the next layer of epoxy, you're not rubbing around and moving the glitter because then you're gonna get little glitters all over the beautiful green and we don't want that. So now that that is dry, I'm taking my Craftsmart black paint pen to draw on leopard prints. And you're just gonna do big random leopard prints. It's just, this is all personal preference. And this style that I did here is like my favorite that I've ever done. So it takes a little time, but you're just gonna hand draw all these little leopard prints all around the cup. Just in my experience, I feel like I just would rather hand draw them. I don't know. You're just also gonna to wanna to be careful not to touch where you've done the paint pen. It does take, you know, like 10 or so minutes to fully dry it so that it won't transfer on your finger. And I've had before where I touch it and then I touch the cup and I'm getting little smudges everywhere. That's not good. So just be mindful of where your hands are touching the cup. Also, this paint pen works the best for this. I used to use just a black Sharpie. It does work, but compared to this, it's just not as black and it's not as clean looking. So if you really want a really nice black leopard print, go ahead and get a paint pen like this. This one is just from Michaels um, and they have so many different colors too. So definitely paint pen over Sharpie any day. So we're just gonna continue around the entire cup till we're fully done.
back through and adding just little spots in between of just black this really helps to kind of finalize and make this look that much better so if you're not doing this with your leopard print try it out just fill in all those little gaps with just that one color it just looks so much better in my opinion <laughs> So once that was dry, I gave it a good couple hours to fully dry. I did two more coats of my Artistry Epoxy to finish off this cup. And she's done. She's beautiful. I think she turned out amazing. Uh, just the cozy vibes. I'm loving it. Definitely go check out and enter the giveaway. Details are below and I will see you guys tomorrow for the third day of my 10 days of fall. Bye.